team you order is here. Actually, babe, I think this is my team order. What's going on, you nearly 2,100 glorious subscribers? And for the people who are just finding this channel for the first time, I want to say welcome. Shopping for Jeep accessories can be one of the most fun parts about owning a Jeep. However, there are so many choices out there about where to go to buy these accessories. You can go straight to aftermarket manufacturers, you can go to Amazon, or maybe you can even go to Timu. So the first item that we have up is something that I purchased for $6, and it is a winch cover. Now, Timu claims that this is a 600 denier winch cover, and I'm going to call BS on that part, but it does have this elasticated bottom down here, and it does seem to be pretty okay if you're just, if you have a vehicle parked for a long time, I think anything covering your winch line is probably better than nothing. Overall, I think the quality is okay. I think anything on your winch is probably better than nothing, especially if your vehicle is just sitting parked. Um, for this, will it last you for the, the you know for years and years and years? Yeah, probably not. Um, will it last you long enough to where maybe again for five, six dollars, it's worth it? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Overall, I think I would give this probably two and a half stars. This next item I'm actually pretty excited about. So what this is, is a oil and spice organizer. If you're going camping and you're trying to add to your camp kitchen, these little glass bottles right here with their caps can store your spices, can store anything like olive oil, grapeseed oil, whatever you're using to cook with. And then it gets organized into this handy little tote. And this tote, it feels pretty well made, to be honest, for the price. It almost feels like that heavy wax canvas a little bit. It snaps shut, that compact, so it will fit down pretty well, uh, you know, in a tote, uh, in a drawer, or something else like that. So this is something that I think is, uh, is really cool. And it also comes with this little string. I guess you can tie it here to be able to hang it from somewhere if you wanted to. Uh, but again, for 13 bucks, 14 bucks, this is really not a bad item at all. I think overall, I'd probably give this about four stars. So this next item we paid $7 for, and to be honest, I'm a little bit skeptical about it, um, just because of what it does. Uh, so what this is, is it's going to be a step, and it hooks into your door latch, and then up against the frame of the door, uh, it holds, and you can put your foot on there and then retrieve items, I guess, off the top of your vehicle, or if you need like a little bit um, you know, more, more leverage to get something off the top of your vehicle, um, it even has this glass breaker on the front, I guess just in case you need a glass breaker for some reason and this is what you have. Maybe you store this in your door pocket or something like that, so I guess I could kind of get that. Um, do I think it's the highest quality item? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, is that you're stepping onto this with your full body weight. Um, from, a, from a height that if it were to give, you know, could, could do something to you. Overall, just first impressions, I think I would probably give it maybe two stars. So this next item, I'm actually pretty excited about. For $8, we paid for this. And what this is, is a organizer. So an organizer for what, you may ask? Well, just about anything you want it to be. It's got these zippered pockets right here, which again, uh, you know, quality-wise, how good are they? Um, I guess that really depends on what you're using it for. If you're putting a ton of weight, uh, a ton of items in here, I don't know if it's going to be the most uh, dependable thing that you may have. However, what I'm going to use it for, because this one I think I am going to keep, 
is going to be for kitchen utensils. Have you ever gone camping and sometimes your utensils are all over the place? I think this organizes them in a very, very convenient manner. And I think for $8, it's a very easy way to do that. After you're done with it, it does roll up and then you have this very handy method of carrying it around just in case you need to tote it somewhere else. So again, you know, is it the highest quality material? Yeah, not really. Um, is it gonna last years and years? Also, probably not really. But for what you're gonna use it for initially, I think it's pretty cool until maybe you upgrade to something a little bit more high quality. I think overall, probably, I'd say three and a half stars. All right, and then finally, the last item that I have, uh, we picked up for $12. This is an antenna base plate uh, replacement piece uh, made of anodized aluminum. Um, and again, it just remove, uh, you, you remove your uh, stock antenna base plate and then you put that on there, it comes with the hardware as well. And uh, you basically have this more customized look for your Jeep. Um, you know, again, anodized so it's not gonna scratch or anything like that. Uh, so this is kind of cool. Um, I don't think I'm going to put it on my Jeep. I just don't think it's really sort of my style of what I want or the color that I want. Um, you know, so this is just going to be something that uh, perhaps I give away. I'll tell you what, uh, leave a comment below and uh, I'll pick out somebody out of the comments. Uh, let me know if you want this and uh, I'll go ahead and I'll send it out to you. Um, anyway, this feels like it's actually pretty heavy duty. I don't see where this would be a big wear item. Um, overall, the quality looks pretty good. Uh, you know, some sharp edges, but I mean, I don't know how different it would be on any other one. Overall, I think I'd probably give this about three and a half, four stars uh, just because of the quality of it. Again, just not really my taste. So there you have it. Five products for overlanding, camping, or jeeping that came from Timu. Now, in the beginning of the video, I said I would tell you whether or not I thought Timu was safe and whether or not I would shop from Timu again. Well, let's address the safe part. Is Timu safe to order from? Overall, the answer I got was yes. Uh, according to several different websites, it is honestly just about as safe as shopping from somewhere like Amazon, uh, somewhere like Sheen, somewhere like Wish.com, any of those particular sites. So if you're comfortable shopping from a site like that, you'll be comfortable shopping from Timu. Now the other question was, do I think I would buy from Timu again? The answer for me is no. And I have my reasons for it. One of the reasons is that there is no protection against the fact that they may be using slave labor to actually produce some of these products, right? So that's a big thing for me. The other thing I'll say as well is that a lot of these products, when you start looking at them online, you start to wonder if there's some issue with copyright infringement, uh, intellectual property theft, or any other thing like that. And so again, for me, that's a little bit more of a moral issue that I have with it. Um, as far as the quality of the products, I think it's okay. I think you're literally getting what you're paying for. Now, if none of the other issues bother you, I think that shopping from Timu could be an option for those that, you know, maybe use a product as a stopgap, uh, you know, between buying something more expensive later down the road or something more quality later down the road. Uh, so that's a decision that I think that you're going to have to make on it. As far as myself, I think I kind of subscribe to the philosophy, buy once, cry once, and be done with it. All right, well, thank you for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed already to the channel, please do, it really, really helps us out. Also, if you found this video to be very valuable, uh, you wanna share it with somebody, please go ahead and do that and hit that bell for notifications. You know where our newest videos are gonna be coming out. This has been Gary from Dixie Overland, and the adventure is just getting started.